Ms. Prather, uh, you mentioned in your testimony that your networks uh, connected Americans to vital institutions and services which help drive economic development and produce and preserve jobs in rural America. Specifically, in response to COVID-19, you noted that TotalCom took action to increase broadband availability to lower in installation costs for students who were remote learning. Access to broadband has been a barrier for many families during this pandemic to ensure kids can continue to attend school remotely. In my district, this has been no different. For example, the Martinez family was driving around from parking lot to parking lot to find access to Wi-Fi. It has shown us the digital divide that exists in our country and the work we have ahead to bridge these gaps. Can you please explain how TotalCom's experience responding to the pandemic will impact its future operations and what innovations and partnerships were particularly helpful for you to meet the increased need for remote learning in rural America? I would love to. Thank you, Congressman, for the question. So we did a couple of things. Uh, first of all, any customer that called in that had a student K through 12 or, or college in the household got free installation. We got them connected as fast as possible. But the bigger thing that we did was we partnered with all of our local school districts. We told them, we know you have students who are learning at home and cannot afford a connection. If you will just give us an address, we will go connect those students. We won't make them sign anything. We won't um, bother the family, we'll work with you to provide access for any students who need it. Even when the schools went back to in-person learning, if we had students who were in a home with someone at high risk or the student was at high risk, we kept that going. Uh, we're seeing a lot of funds go out to the, the FCC's E-rate program right now, and we would love to continue those kinds of partnerships. We did that through no cost to the school. We, we really just ate all of those services uh, because it was the right thing to do for our communities that we serve. But we would love to see that on an ongoing basis to partner with those schools um, to serve their students that need access at home and, and cannot afford it. Thank you, Ms. Prater. 